the arrival of these two take the music industry by storm and it also changed the vibes on the streets when joy b dropped tonga which features accordion which became one huge song in the country but after that hit he wasn't gotten that kind of hit he want again none of his plans was working any song he dropped don't hit and it was just left out without any his song and also the few fans that you grab just got mixed or missing in the mix so he took his time and rested for a while so from nowhere joby is back in the music industry but he wasn't here alone he is here with one artist nobody knows much about he was here with one rapper that rap in fancy and that artist is papi kujo these two guys drop a song that everybody on the streets was loving it everybody on the ghetto was loving it i don't know where you find yourself but i know you love that song and that song was wave with wave that song become one hip-hop song that hit everywhere because as fortunate as we are this era was the ear era the era that everybody loves hip-hop the era that everybody loves rap song the era that hip life is getting back on it too then talking about the wave music video this video got everything that a hip-hop music video needs but the ending scene got everyone talking and that scene was when sakode put his hand on them in a way of blessing them in the music industry or initiating them to the music industry they released some few weeks they came up with a new song with the title Willano. Just had the wave. This also climbed up to the top successfully, which even became more successful than wave. So to be clear, wave was for Joy B, and Willano was for or is for Papi Kujo. As successful as these tunes were, they even started to compete each other on the music charts. Then people started sharing their ideas on which song is better. After some months of people passing their judgments, the VGMA was on, with Papi Kojo winning the best hip hop song of the year, which confirmed that that song was much better than Wave. Although, so now people still don't agree with that, but it was still the VGMA, and people for, vote for that. So that means that most people vote for Willano over Wave. They within a few months, of Papi Kojo being in the music industry. He changed the street vibes. Everybody was straightly dressing like Papi Kojo. You don't need to be on the street to dress like him. He just took on from the junior high to the senior high and to the universities. Every guy was just dressing and hoping to be like Papi Kojo. So with him, he created a huge influence on both in schools and on the streets. For him to become a complete star in the music industry, he dropped I Elite, which also became huge on the streets. Then we have Joy B at one side doing Otu Lege. Then after resting for some time, Papi Kojo came in with Awa. At this time, Joy B, you ask me, is also doing good on the music charts. With these two songs, I don't know which one was popular than other because at this time, JB and EL were all doing good in the industry. As more as they are establishing their name in the music industry, Papi Kojo released Van Damme, who featured Akiti Waro. Then, with one side, JB released Sunshine, who featured Lamem Gang. Between these two songs, both did well in the music industry, but JB Sunshine was over everywhere because this was the year that Lamem Gang was doing everything they were controlling both the junior high and the senior high schools so that was a huge advantage for joy b so from here public fame start going down and with joy b he was still normal then because he went on and released an album then later on released table which also featured the lamem gang then released akobam featuring kofi mole and medical 
Then from this time, both artists relaxed on their career. They both didn't produce much music to their fans. So with this, their names in the music industry started fading out. Within this time, the street was back to normal. Most people are not dancing like Papi Kujo anymore. And Papi Kujo doesn't see himself as a rapper. He sees himself as a TikTok rapper. And with Joey B, he was just doing regular things on social media. But in 2021, Joey B came back to the music industry. He dropped Code featuring Sakodie and also go ahead and drop Gorilla, which featured Yao Top. Then with the title of Papi Kujo, his song wasn't going loud anymore. And everything about him is what people care less. Because he was doing less of what people know him about. And he was doing more comedy on his Instagram and TikTok pages. But with Joey B, most people just don't know what's going on with him. So with that being said, thank you for watching Sinless Productions.